everything that has a beginning has an end and a middle, which probably goes on too long and gets repetitive and could have been trimmed a lot. At the very least, everything that has a beginning might as well skip to the exciting climax, make you confused about what's happening. Did you miss the last chapter, or is this one supposed to abruptly start in the middle of a scene? No time to figure that out. The woman in the shadows says that only one of us is walking out of here alive. I cross my fingers she means the rest of us will be dancing out. Twelve hours earlier, I'm in my office, getting ready to fight. It's modern warfare. I pack my bag, put on a vest, make sure I take everything which may become super important to have later on. A giant conspiracy has secretly spent centuries controlling the entire city. Even that weird model train store downtown. They've tried to ruin my reputation, torn my friends apart, kept me from my family, charged me way too much for model trains. I've had enough. You can only push a man so far before he's like, hey, that's rude, please stop pushing me. So, if I was a secret society of the most wealthy and influential elites, where would I make my headquarters? The garbage dump? The abandoned disco which won't turn off? The other garbage dump? The giant media core skyscraper which stands as a terrifying symbol of power and looms over everything else in the city including the other other garbage dump? Yeah, I think so. I'm ready to go. Like the bank keeps reminding me about my loans, it's payback time. Two hours later, I'm at the tower, because one hour earlier I stopped for lunch. But one and a half hours after that, I'm ready. I've done stakeouts before. Now it's time to hunt down the people sucking the blood from my city. It's time for a stake in. Security is tight. Guards, metal detectors, a sign. Before I can reach the belly of the beast, I'll need to get past the feet of the beast. So 15 minutes later, I'm scaling the side of the building. One hour later, I'm crawling through air duct. Half an hour earlier, I'm climbing into an air duct. Two hours later, I'm falling out of an air duct. Eventually, I reach the penthouse. It's an amazing view of the city. My city. This secret society may have been here before me, but they've just been watching it from above. I grew up on the streets, lived down in the dumps. There are real people down there, and this conspiracy is treating it like a toy, running it like an extremely overpriced model train set, down to the smallest detail, even this skyscraper. Inside is an even smaller model of the city, with a miniature version of me, surrounded by miniature guards. Five seconds later, they rush in, but I came prepared for this, and knowing is half the battle. But the other half is battling. They swing at me with swords, tasers, duct tape. You can only push a man so far before he falls out a window. So I turn the tables on them, but then they crack me over the head with a bat, and I'm out cold. Some amount of hours later, I'm tied up with my brother Ron, the city's crusading district attorney, my reporter friend Cam, and some other woman who I don't recognize, but I assume she must be important if she's here, so I'm going to pretend I know her just in case we met once in the past and I forgot. We're face to face with the city's most elite, CEOs, politicians, the weather lady. To prove how high the stakes are, they pull the DA away and murder him right in front of us. Picture the grossest possible way to kill someone. This is like that, but not quite that bad. You have a sick mind, gross. I ask if they're going to kill me too. They say no. They want to hire me. They spin me around and they've got a conspiracy theory board of their own, with me at the center. They've been watching me for years. This is a job interview. I'm the second best detective they've ever seen, and they want me to hunt down the first best. My old partner, Blanche. She's a threat. If I find her and bring her to them, they'll bring me to my estranged family. I can trade my surrogate daughter for my real one. But that's not all. If I act now, there's more. I've been trying to erase my sordid past, but they can rewrite it. They control the news, and they can do a complete media reset. And as a special one-time offer, they'll make me a very rich man. Richer than a king, who also won the lottery. I can get everything I've ever wanted. I just have to find one more person. It'll be the last mystery I ever need to solve. So, what do I say? Five seconds earlier, I say yes. 